Welcome. I got something special for you today, a piece of uh, Infinity history. We have this beautiful 2015 Infinity Q50 Hybrid Sport. Uh, I think it was 2019 or 2020, if I remember correctly, that was the last year that we offered a hybrid Q50. We don't have any hybrid or EV vehicles. Since then, we're talking about some uh, possible EVs in the future, but the uh, Q50 Hybrid is a really uh, unique and amazing product, um, and it's something that people don't really know a lot about. Um, we didn't sell a ton of them. Uh, you know, the last couple of years that they had them in production, we only sold one or two a year, which I find surprising because I thought it was quite an amazing package. Um, so the whole idea about this Q50 Hybrid is not necessarily to get 50 miles per gallon. It's The idea is uh, it uh, enhances performance. Uh, back when the Q50 Hybrid was developed, uh, we had Sebastian uh, Vettel. Uh, he, uh, he was racing for Infinity's Formula One team, and he was also helping with product development. In fact, he helped develop the direct response hybrid um, and track tested the Q50 Sport to help tune the direct adaptive steering, which was new technology, which this one has. Um, Infinity loves technology. They've been pioneering technology for a very long time, pretty much ever since they first came out in the US market in 1989. And uh, the Q50 Hybrid Sport was a test bed for some amazing technology that Infinity developed. Uh, so the idea about the Q50 Hybrid Sport, it's supposed to give you kind of V6 like gas mileage or V8 like power. So you're not gonna get 40, 50 miles per gallon. You'll probably get, you know, right around, uh, probably the average right around uh, the high 20s, low 30s in the city and on the highway, which is not too bad considering this thing pumps out 360 horsepower. Uh, this was the uh, Red Sport before the Red Sport. At the time, the hybrid was the range top and performance model of the Q50, because you could either get the 3.7 liter V6, which uh, made uh, 300, about 330 horsepower, or you get the hybrid uh, version, which made 360 horsepower combined output. So yeah, this was an amazingly fast vehicle, and uh, people are pretty surprised how quick this thing is. Um, you know, I've told some people that couldn't quite afford a Red Sport, try try out uh, one of the little bit you know less expensive hybrid sports, and they were really amazed how this thing accelerates. We'll take it for a little spin around the block. You can't feel the acceleration, but you can kind of get an idea uh, how it performs, a little uh, test drive. But we're gonna do a little walk around first, and I'll tell you more about this amazing product. Uh, so this is a sport model, so this has the uh, upgraded sport suspension, you have these upgraded sport seats with so adjustable bolstering to hold you in place during performance driving. This has an upgraded wood interior trim, and this has a technology package. So we have adaptive cruise control, we have a lane keep assist, we have a lane departure warning, lane departure de prevention, blind spot warning, and blind spot prevention. And we also have direct adaptive steering. So uh, it's steer by wire. Um, which was pretty amazing technology, really ahead of its time. In fact, uh, the Cybertruck, uh, which is a brand new model for the 2023, they're just uh, introducing it. It's the first production vehicle uh, since the since Infinity has, has a steer by wire system. Um, but unlike the Cybertruck, this has a mechanical backup. The Cybertruck is completely uh, there's no steering rack. It's all con controlled by computers and motors and stuff, and it has a triple redundancy. Uh, just to make it almost impossible for the system to fail uh, for safety reasons. But back in 2014, Infinity uh, did things a little bit differently. So under normal driving conditions, there's no mechanical connection to the front wheels. It's all handled by electric motors and computers. It can filter out unwanted feedback. For instance, if you had a pothole or rut in the road that would jerk the wheel, that will get filtered out. And you have a lot of control over the feel of the steering. You can make it light, standard, or heavy. You can adjust your steering response. Um, so yeah, it's like having uh, it's like a video game <laughs> pretty much, but there is a mechanical backup There's a mechanical steering rack uh, that will kick in if there's a total loss of power There's a clutch that will pop right in and then you can safely steer the vehicle to a stop If for the unlikely reason there's a catastrophic loss of power and uh, the DAS system directed up the steering acronym uh, goes out um, And there's a lot of advantages to directed up the steering it can actually uh, react to steering inputs faster than mechanical wrap uh, or mechanical rack and uh, like I said, you can uh, control the feel of it and it can filter out unwanted feedback. Um, so it's pretty an amazing system. It's definitely, uh, it feels a little bit different than a regular steering rack, but um, talking to a lot of lease customers return, returning their leases uh, with a direct adaptive steering, they tell me at first uh, they actually, you know, thought it was a little bit different and weren't sure about it. But after, you know, driving it for two or three years, um, they found that they really like it and often would try to seek out uh, a new Infinity product uh, with that same system. They liked it a lot. So the Q50 was a brand new model for the 2014 model year, uh, replacing the aging G37. Uh, we actually still have the Q50 in production. 
Um, it's going to get phased out eventually uh, by an electric vehicle, but I think they're going to continue production into 2024 until uh, we have a new product ready. So pretty long product cycle for the Q50. Um, and it's an amazing product. I, I love the Q50. I've been with Infinity uh, since 2004, so I've seen the whole evolution of this product. And uh, they're very reliable, very robust. So you have a dual display system. The top screen is for navigation. We have a 360 degree around view parking camera, great for low speed maneuvering. The bottom screen is a tablet like interface for vehicle settings and apps. Obviously I just showed you the, the drive mode selector so you can kind of personalize uh, things for yourself or you can kind of use this, can use this uh, switch right here to adjust the drive mode as well. So it'll make changes at transmission shift points, throttle sensitivity, traction stability control settings. We have a moonroof, uh, automatic dimming mirror, universal garage door opener. We have a power adjustable steering wheel that tilts and telescopes. We have a steering wheel paddle shifters, only available in the Sport. A great sounding Bose audio system. You also get aluminum pedals with the Sport package. Really nice color combination on graphite gray on black leather. Also the Sport has these upgraded Sport wheels and you have larger brakes. Uh, the Sport model has also a little bit more aggressive looking front fascia. So the hybrid system uh, pairs in a fantastic engine. Uh, we have this uh, uh, 3.5 liter V6, regarded as one of the best V6s ever made or ever, ever offered in America. I've seen plenty of examples with 200 and 300,000 miles still running strong. So they pair this uh, 3.5 liter V6, which makes about 300 horsepower to a 60 horsepower electric motor. So the electric motor is kind of like an electronic turbocharger. It can uh, combine its power uh, with the engine for a total output of 360 horsepower for performance driving or the vehicle can just operate uh, on the electric motor uh, just alone and drive on that even up to highway speeds. It doesn't have a very big battery, it's not a plug-in hybrid, it uses a lithium-ion battery so you can travel about a mile or so uh, just under electric power alone. The ability to shut the engine off uh, for a short amount of time like in stop and go traffic and then recapturing that energy you'd uh, normally lose through braking and putting it back in the battery for, with regenerative braking, it makes this vehicle much more efficient than a regular 3.7 liter uh, gas only version of the, high, of the Q50. These are increasingly rare. Oh, wow, look at that. Chinooks. I like airplanes and helicopters, uh, so pretty loud. So we took a little break, let those Chinooks fly by. Okay, back to the Q50. Um, so you do have a little bit less trunk space for the hybrid version. Uh, the battery does reside back there. So, uh, but trunk space is still not too bad. Uh, this has an intelligent all-wheel drive system. Uh, it's a uh, uh, racing-inspired all-wheel drive system first uh, found in the R32 Skyline, which helped that. Skyline achieved racing success in the Japanese and European to touring car series. We've been using this all drive system in various Infinity products for over 20 years. It's been very reliable. So what's uh, special about this all-wheel drive system? Well, it's 100% rear-wheel drive bias under normal dri uh, driving conditions to help save on gas and give you the feel of a performance uh, rear-wheel drive vehicle. But if those rear wheels slip in a matter of milliseconds, almost instantly it can send up to 50% of the vehicle's power to the front wheels. All right, let's get behind the wheel and take this thing out for a spin. All right, we're taking this 2015 Q50 Hybrid Sport for a drive. So we have the drive mode selector. Like in eco mode, you can feel the steering lighter. The throttle uh, is not as responsive, but then we put it in sport mode, and then you can feel the steering definitely change personality. It's a lot tighter. Uh, it's, it's, it's darting into, into it's uh, a lot more responsive. The throttle's more touchy. All right, got a green light. Take it around the corner. Yeah, no problem at all getting up to speed. It's a lane departure <laughs> warning. This thing is quick. Um, and we also have to understand that the roads are wet too, but there's very little wheel slip with a Tesla all wheel drive system. That's gonna uh, put power to, as soon as those rear wheels start slipping, it's gonna send power to the front wheels very quickly. We got some people pulled over on the side, so we're gonna move over for them. So we have a seven speed automatic transmission. You can also put in manual shift mode and it's uh, pretty responsive. You got uh, rev match downshifts for a sportier sound and feel, very smooth. And then uh, you can put it right back in the drive mode and go around this corner here. Lots of grip. 
and the traction control system, you know, it's hitting the throttle there. The traction control system's not even going on. So the all-wheel drive system's doing a great job uh, distributing the power to the wheels that have the most grip. Uh, if this was a rear-wheel drive version of the Q50, which you can, even the hybrids, if I'm hammering the gas like that, uh, the, the rear wheels are going to want to spin, the traction control system is going to kick in and that's going to reduce your uh, acceleration and your performance. But yeah, the, the direct adaptive steering is definitely, you can definitely feel a huge difference in the feel of the steering versus one that doesn't. It just is very responsive going the corners, take this corner right here, and it grips really well. Yeah, this thing's just a, a bolt load of fun to drive. Uh, very well built vehicles. These are built and assembled in Japan. So if you do value Japanese build quality, the Q50, uh, all Q50s deliver, even the hybrid sport. We do have a little bit of warranty left on the uh, hybrid battery. Um, it's good till April of uh, 2024. So not a ton of uh, life on it. This car is a 2015 and it is almost 2024, but it's a lot of coverage up to 100,000 miles. So I guess if you do buy this, uh, you have a little breathing room uh, to, you know, make sure that the battery's good <laughs> before it's out of warranty. Um, obviously, we're an Infinity store, so we check all that stuff out. If there were any concerns or uh, it showed any codes for uh, battery failure, we'd get that fixed under warranty. Uh, luckily, it checked out great. And who better to buy a Prune Infinity from than a new Infinity retailer like us? All right. I mashed the throttle right here traction control system didn't even go on once <laughs> it was pretty amazing with 360 horsepower uh, the elbow drive system does a great job uh, distributing the power to the right wheels um, yeah this thing is just a blast to drive and it's uh, also fairly fuel efficient for the level of performance that you get well we're almost back at the dealership that to end for a little fun today in this q50 hybrid sport if you're looking for a fuel efficient performance uh, luxury sedan uh, at an affordable price point in the $20,000 range or under. Uh, this is a great one to consider. I'll make sure to get it checked out uh, by an Infinity store if you're looking to buy one of these systems, especially the hybrid system. If the battery is out of warranty, it could be eighteen, twenty thousand dollars uh, to replace that battery. It's not a big battery, but these have been out of production for a while, so uh, there's not they're not they're not uh, continuously making parts for the hybrid system for these things. So it's always good to, you know, get it inspected or, you know, buy it from a, an Infinity dealership that has techs that, you know, can run, uh, you know, can run a, can hook the vehicle up to a scanner and see if there's any stored codes in there for, you know, transmission or hybrid system battery issues. Cause it can be fairly ugly. Uh, you know, that's basically, if you have to pay to replace the battery in this thing, that's basically the whole value of the car. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this little uh, walk around and uh, test drive in this 2015 Q50 Sport. Uh, hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day. I guess this is also a good segue for the uh, nice parking camera. <laughs> Usually I've ended my videos by now, but you can see uh, this 360 camera is really nice uh, for low speed, low speed maneuvering, uh, parallel parking. You can also change views as well. Uh, so there's no reason to scuff up these beautiful bumpers. Uh, with that nice surround view camera. Okay, now we're finally done with this video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.